Hello, anyone and everyone! Welcome to Edgeral Plays Enter the Gungeon. I was letting, you know, letting the feel and the mood play out with the intro and the Gungeon, Enter the Gungeon. Fucking the vibes, the fantastical music. Let me crack my knuckles. I apologize if you guys heard my dog running around my room. By running around, I mean tapping the door and then crawling into my bed. That crazy ruckus of a noise. We're gonna be playing Enter the Gungeon, a game that's been out for like, what, three, four years now? A game that I've had for a while that I suck at, so I don't play that much, even though it's a good game. I've started playing it again, said, you know what, I'll join the trend of everybody re-uploading Enter the Gungeon because they had their final update. Uh, which update was that? The, they had Enter the Gungeon, or not Enter the Gungeon, they had Gungeons and, Drag uh, Gungeons and Dragons, um, the Supply Drop, and whatever the most recent update is, which is killing me that I can't remember. But we're going to be playing as the Huntress. Starts with the crossbow, a corgi that you can pet. And we're going to go. So, for those of you who don't know what Enter the Gungeon is, that's surprising because it's an amazing bullet hell roguelike that requires a lot of skill that I don't have. And this video will probably be as long as one of my best possible runs because, let's say, a full... Like, you beat the first quote-unquote boss of the game, it's gonna probably take like, I don't know, 45 to minutes? I have no idea, maybe. And then if you beat the other quote-unquote boss, back off. That one should take like, I don't know, somewhere near like 50 minutes, 55. And then that's next thing to beat the game. You should, I will be lucky if we can even get this run to be like 30, uh, a one 20 minute consistent run, long run. Like, they'll probably be dead by then. And here we are, in the thick of it, in the frame of it, shooting, dodging, dip, 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 dive, and dodge. I really need to dodge all these bullets. We're here killing bulletins. You saw the intro. We're here to get out of here, friggin' Cracker Jack. Got a lot of bulletins. Shotgun, shell, shoot, shotguns. A more effective gun than this. I am not that good at bullet hells, even though I enjoy them. Uh, it likes to show how. Pull out the crossbow. No, let's not be concerned. We have a crossbow. We don't have to use our starter gun. Uh, as long as like echelons and tiers, like I don't know where like various. Ooh, slide over that. Slide over that and flip the table because this is an action movie. Taking, taking a lot of heat. Killed one of them, and he's dead too. They blow up. They shoot their things. We collect all of our money. We want the next room. We don't know what the world entails. Us, but who just disappeared? Wizard. That was such a miss. So inaccurate. Like, there's like two major problems in this game that I have. One, it requires accuracy. As you can see, against my waddling assailant, I have trouble with that. And then the other one is being aware of my surroundings, which is another thing I struggle with. So basically, you take my two greatest flaws in video games, and then you say, hey, those are the two main mechanics of the game. And then I'm going to say, that sounds fun. I will try my best. I'll get better at it. You know what I mean? Playing with mouse and keyboard, not a controller. A controller comes with some pre-set auto-aim. You can, you know, change the amount of auto-aim it gives you. Ah, oh, yikes. We took our first damage. It's kind of embarrassing. Get a bunch of stupid signs because we wanted to make them small so you could roll through them. Because I think that's fun. But that also gave us our first bit of damage. How embarrassing. Chest. Open it. What is this? Hegemony? Or. Head. Hegemony? <laughs> <coughs> okay, what's this called? The hegemony? Uh, hege hmm. <laughs> English. Hegemony? He I know I've heard this name before because I watch a few. Uh, YouTubers like you play into the Gungeon. A Jeremy? No, I know I'm saying it wrong and it's bothering me a lot. Like I'm just the carbine, H carbine, what we're gonna call it. Or I can just come up with stupid nicknames like Dan Giesling. Just talking a bunch of lingo, so you guys, if you watch my content, will know what I'm talking about. We're like, yo, we got the we got the hedge carb. Let's go. You like some carbs? Eat up. Hedges are like bread. Some type of banter that will make us, you know, 
used to calling this the, the hedge carp. What's up, good knights? I challenge you. Ah! Rule number one of Enter the Gungeon never dodge into the bullet's direction. You have an eye frame, you have invulnerability when you dodge through things that you can't be. Yo, what a good dog! You get pet. You get pet when you find things, because that's what good dogs deserve. Let's go. We got our crossbow. Just drop some. That's right. That one was a. That one was a bit of a risky shot. I didn't. I was nervous. That one was a nervous. Like I didn't want to get hit as I did the. What you hog an egg loogie at me? We still haven't found the boss room yet. We got a key. Blanks. Blanks are right here located on our top left. That does a big AoE explosion of don't touch me, don't hit me. And there are things that I frankly forget to use almost at all times. I think I use blanks on accident more often than I use blanks on purpose. And if that doesn't scream bad, it doesn't scream confident, I know that much. Oh, we got a shot key. 45 casings. Let's see what we got. A bomb. Very spelunky at Enter the Gungeon. Or uh, Binding of Isaac. Table Tech. RPG. I don't think we want any of these things, sir. Thank you for your time and your patronage. And allow us through the secret passage. There's some other nuances to this game that I try to avoid. Like, there's a lot of secret rooms that, like, a lot of people spend their time looking for from what I've seen of other videos. But, like, I'm just trying to make it through, like, boss fights. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to barely survive. People are just like, oh yeah, I can slowly all five bosses perfectly. And I'm just like, I got hit once from the first boss, am I good? The answer is no. The answer is no. And there's a boss. Let's see. Can we explore everything? Heck yeah. We got three blanks. We got the head, we got the H, we got the hedge carb. We got Jesus crossbows. And... Uh, it is. I don't have cutscenes cut off because maybe you've never seen this. Let's be cinematic. He's so swole. The Gatling go rapid fire. Got her. Got her. Hedge carbine. This should be an easy one for us to follow, right, guys? And we got the. Huh. Uh, uh. No! Use our blanks when we're scared. Use our blanks when we're scared. Don't be afraid to use blanks. Ah, we, ah, <laughs> what have we done to ourselves? Father, why have you forsaken me? Oh, that, that necklace I have says people on fire when I use blanks? How good. Oh my goodness. This is actually very bad and embarrassing. Being decimated from the boss. At one point, a friend of mine commented on videos! Dodged backwards, and we didn't get punished for it. Thank goodness. He commented on a video of mine saying, Have you ever played Into the Gun? Yeah. And I said, I suck at it in that video. And hey, hey, the heart person should join the shootout. Fantastic. Seven minute run of Enter the Gungeon. Barely doing anything. Let's do another run just to show how bad we are. Except we're gonna. What did I press? It looks like we're gonna play as the same character, but it's fine. Now this is gonna trick you. Now if you're like an expert who knows into the Gungeon, you'll look at this and be like, alright, this is one run. And you look at the video and be like, alright, this video is X amount of- oh cool, we got ammo? Cool. This video is X amount of time long, which means he must have done this much in Enter the Gungeon. Joke's on you, it's more than one run. Better to know that I'm not editing my videos. That's, that's, that's too much madness. I can't handle that. My psyche's too weak. You just have to play mediocre and hope for the best. Sailor. Oh my god. I feel like a, this is not that threatening because one, deja vu. We had this exact room in the last one. And two, they're just a bunch of basic boys. That grenade's down. I'll wait for more of our crossbow. Well, 
we're not getting hit. We have to at least get through the, the, the first boss. Like, you know what I mean? It's embarrassing. Clearly, if we get through the through the first boss, I'll like die in the second floor on purpose, so the video won't be that long. Obviously. Right, that's how we miss like that. That's how we uh. What is this? <laughs> what is this assailant doing? Yeah, here. You uh, weird mask wearing, ski mask mugging. Can you hear me? They can't just displace me, which is annoying. But only annoying. A key, thank you! Look at this little weird face. I bet you're thinking as you watch this, I can do so much better than Ed and then for the end of that. You're gonna wanna go and play it. You're welcome for inspiring you to play a already great game. Don't you try and roll with me, stupid. <gasps> oh, golden chest? What is this? The Super Meat Boy? Okay, well now we now we can't lose, right? We have like one of the best. We have an S tier gun. We can't lose. So let's go find the boss and just win. Because we have this. Oh heck yeah. This is dead end. Uh oh, teleport. A nice thing that Enter the Gun has that a lot of bullet hells and rogue legs don't have is this teleport. It means a lot of the backtracking. I should probably Hey One dodge oh, better. Never dodge backwards. I said that earlier. Never dodge backwards. N B no N D B. N D B. Never dodge backwards. Acronyms are always hilarious. Sir, I don't need you splooging at me. Much that I love a good book. You are one. <laughs> Where's the boss? Where, where, where are you going? What are you? Uh, sir, dodging backwards. Never dodge backwards. Yeah, that guy's an eye patch. That was an advanced veteran. He lost an eye, but he's still kicking. He's been around during the war. Die wizard. Oh fuck! <laughs> Oh my god, how could a giant person sneak up on me? I was like watching the wizard going, where's the other person in this room? How are we... I mean, how are we so bad? It's obvious how we're so bad, but... No, don't use this for me, gun. Crossbow is now our room player, even though we should be using... Gosh, that, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> There's nothing but disappointment with myself whenever I take damage like that. I want you guys to know. Because I've like flawless bosses before. I've done well the few, like when I play this game before. Not like extraordinarily good. Like I've maybe flawless the boss a few times. Nothing extreme. But like. I don't know. Oh, cool. What is this? After getting a golden chest? What is it? Call of Duty. What does this do? To the Alonomicon. When blown, when blown, this one will call those nearby to aid you. So, good against, good in rooms, bad against bosses. Wait, did I forget the key in that room? Oh, cool. I thought it was taken. When I used to play before, like the last time I played, which was like a, probably two expansions or updates ago, definitely would be like, sir? Haha! <laughs> That's always fun. Um. You would just, like, a rat would take your stuff. Oh, what, this gun? The Scrambler's a top-tier gun. But we don't buy the Scrambler because we have the Super Meat Boy, right? Elder Blank. Armor. Armor seems so useful. Honestly, any health seems useful. I just suck. And everything is useful that makes me dying, like, less likely to happen. You know what I mean? Yo, look. Yo, we called it. Just queued. Found the secret room, we guessed, and it was only ammo. What um, what a waste. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Alright, let's find the boss. That was lucky. A lucky guess. Was the, we're in the shop, it was at the end of the hall. Maybe there'd be a secret room. Let's do this. <coughs> Two and a half hearts. No damage. Oh man, Game of Thrones. In the lead throw. I 
was a little mind flooded seeing all of my fucking projectiles on the screen. This is alright. As long as we don't die. As long as we don't take any stupid damage, is exactly what I should say. I mean, granted, almost all damage on a first floor boss is stupid damage, I believe. But, like. We don't die! Flawless boys! They had one of the best guns in the game! Why is it so easy? Thank you, random generation. Get a bonus heart. This run might be a little faster or longer than it goes. I know this gun. The hammer. Shoots a bunch of guns and at the very last shot is a literal hammer. Alright. We don't have enough money to buy anything. Again. Uh, it's kind of pointless. Oh, you're still alive? So let's just leave. Ooh, that's exciting! This room will be as long as I die. Did I say I was gonna immediately kill myself when I got to the second floor to prove something? I hope I didn't. I probably thought it. You know, like die on the second floor, be like, see, the video's not that long, guys. But no, we're gonna go until I die because, you know, fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> because I'm excited and I never. There's always a good sign. Whenever I flawless the first boss, I usually can make it to like the fourth floor or something. Something stupid. By stupid, I mean something common for other players, but not common for me. So it makes me an excited boy. Let's shoot our other gun. Where's that new gun? Gee. See, I want to reload this gun though in between floor, or like walking in between rooms because I want to shoot a hammer. There it goes. Moving on through. And through the gun I believe is like on steam for how embarrassing. How embarrassing. I mean that one wasn't embarrassing a dodge actually, so like it was appropriate. I'm not hitting anybody with the hammer, it seems like it's silly and pointless, but like I it's called the hammer. I need to use it. But yeah, this game is on Steam, on like PS4, on various devices for like what, maybe $25 at the most. Easily it's a worth a $30 game. I say that with confidence. Like with the amount of content, the amount of synergy, just the amount of things in this game alone, this game is easily worth $30 if it's not even asking for that. So if you find it for anything less than $30, I highly recommend. Give it the, the old Edo guarantee. Well, Ed, I suck at these type of games, so do I. That don't make it not fun. You know what I mean? I'm having a gay old time. Oh no, oh no! Ah, you idiot. Ow. The door was very mad that I tried to approach it. I was like, don't you dare come in here, mister. Not until you kill every assailant out here. Oh, my ha here comes the hammer! <laughs> that was awesome. Ammo for every gun? Thank you. This is a fancy, like, special boss area on, on the second floor. I only know that it takes me to a fancy area. I just don't know how to do it. Better players have done it. We take forever for that. We want, our, we want that ready for the boss. So, as far as, like, second floor bosses go, as far as I know, the gore gun for me is the easiest. And I'm pretty sure the beholster is pretty easy. And I feel like I just struggle <laughs> with a lot of easy bosses. But for me, I think including the first floor boss is the, the chakra. Nice. Beholder is easily my easiest boss. Easy. A beholder? It's more good. <laughs> is it going back and forth on what I'm saying? This guy is drunk. Yeah, off of the lust of going so far. What is this? Can I steal this? I want. I really want this. All right, see you later. I guess I'm not getting it. <laughs> ah, I was too busy looking at like the purple go back into the cup. <laughs> no, that didn't really. See, that threw me off. I was observing that, and I got shot by a very. Sad, normal shot. Hmm. Should just roll forward. So 
All right. Got the shock rub. Oh, that guy started the static shock at me, and I wasn't really comfortable with that. Boss? Fuck it. You do it a lot. Ah, the guy that I said I'm really good at. <laughs> Interesting. Honestly, the best thing about this gun is all I have to do is avoid him. Yeah, clicking is definitely the... Uh... Why is this only my great in front of all time? As Wallace again! This is the rare occurrence. You are all going with me on this journey. Money roll. I missed. Money roll. I missed. Money roll. That's right. That's pretty much the weakest thing I've ever seen in my life. But, what is this? Master round second chamber. Another extra thing of help. Full metal jacket automated defenses. Let's go. Let's read this. What is that? The coin has joined a shootout? Automated... Triggers available bugs from danger. Oh, so like if I'm in danger at all. I mean, I guess that's good, right? Because like I suck and I will often forget to use my blank, so maybe I need something like that. Maybe that's what will like elevate me to the next level. I mean, besides my own skill problems. Hey, what? That's the thing that. What's it even do? That's the thing that I just unlocked. Let's read about it. A payment for services rendered. Three charge. What am I on this coin? Use it! What did it do? I don't know what I'm doing when I'm. again for no reason because I, I I literally don't know what it was for. I'm gonna Google that when I get off in a second. I'm whenever this end runs I'm definitely like what is the flipping mysterious iron hello? Um What? Is that what I had to do with the key? Or wait would that, did that have to do with the coins? I mean, obviously they had to do with the coins with the same thing, but like, yo, I can buy this now. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't understand why it's just... Well, we like to have things on the shop that are unattainable because I'm an asshole. Thank you, shopkeep. Third floor, two flawlesses. We have one of the best guns in the game. We got the shock rope, which is uh, like, I just got it. So it's an AT, a room clear at least. That yeah, does decent damage. At least a little poison flat, a poison. Poison, this thing doesn't like poison, or I, you don't give a fuck about poison. Go, how about holes? You give a fuck about holes? Gordon Blue? Shia LaBeouf? Gordon Blue is the guy from holes, right? I'm pretty sure he is. It's Gordon Blue. Either way, I'm just making sure I'm not confusing him with the one guy from, uh... Oh no, uh... Thank you, emergency blank user. Oh, random. I don't have a key. Thank you for spawning something that I can't use. I appreciate it, game. Oh, wait, key! Key lore, come back! Not on my watch, I'll use my boss killer to get- Oh, Cthulhu? Are you from the Dungeons and Dragons update? What are you doing over here? <laughs> Thank you, emergency blank shooter. Why is there two of you? Why is there many of you? I don't like this anymore. I'm just gonna start shooting this. Get back, Cracker Jack. Go, go. Let's go open that chest. Because opening things is the most exciting thing in the world. What is this? Easy reload bullets. Oh, okay. Yo, that's good synergy with the crossbow. 
I mean, I'm probably pretty, pretty sure it's good synergy with every weapon, right? Ah! Assailant! Oh my god. I don't know if, I don't know if being on the cart's a good thing. Okay, blue chest. It's fine. Flip that over because we disrespect our. Oops. Those aren't real spikes. Oh, what? Are you an enemy? You are an enemy. I was like, is this uh, something I dodge? I mean, it is something I dodge. It is something I care more about. Nani. You're doing so good. You're being so, like, this game in general. I'm not touching a fat waddling lizard hurts me. I mean, walking into a bullet, even if it is walking very slowly, I understand hurts me getting a bullet. <laughs> it's... And that lizard didn't even look spiky. I'm glad I'm hawking his hurt to come back to spot. Let us go over here. Cthulhu, I see you. This time I will not let you Cthulhu, Cthulhu me. Cthulhu eyes, Cthulhu, Mind Flayer, no, Brainy, Illithid. All the forms that you can call Mind Flayer. Illithid? Oh, hey, I guess I'll take this. You know, I didn't want to last time. Hello? Oh. Oh, you're not the thing that I want to use poison against. trusty sidearm for some reason when we have like the hammer gun. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Every game is a horror game when you have no awareness. Why is it always the big one to sneak up on me? <laughs> stupid sniper. <laughs> stupid sniper. Dog, keep up with me, son. Are you gonna break stuff? Yeah, he breaks everything in his path. Hmm, what is this assailant fighting? I don't comprehend it. He confuses my body and mine. Every time I knock him on the ground, he just shoots things more aggressively at me. What is this master key? Hello? Who is unlocked? Looks like we get to unlock somebody? Heck yeah, guys. This is a great run. We're not opening a brown chest. Boy, oh, let's pass it. Out of my way. Hello, lovely lady. Ellipses. Ellipses. <laughs> you freed me. Why? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, bye, lady. Gun muncher. Boss is at. It's not the real boss floor. You can't tell me. That's like another secret boss room. Moon scraper. Half heart. Wait, I got a better thing. Uh, ammo. Key. Two more important things than anything else you could offer me, sir. Don't you need hearts to live? That's irrelevant. What is this? M1911 Classic. Fun fact, M1911 is made to kill Filipinos. Uh, never that. Let's be wild. There it is. And not a crossbow. Let's go to the new thing. Nineteen eleven. Yeah. What are we getting, baby? Non. Ooh, that's not a gun bow. I take it. Oh, that's gonna charm people. That's good. Right, that's good. That's a good gun. I'm pleased. I probably will not get to use it. 
There we go. Your charms. You love me, you baka. Ah, you love me, hit him. Yes! The power! <laughs> Does this hurt him? Do I have to dodge his hits? He loves me. The face he's making made that feel really dirty. I'm just gonna die with my final boss because I'm trying to shock everything. I deserve this death. Alright, we're gonna get to this boss. We're gonna die a valiant run. <coughs> Which one is it? Ah, fuck, it's another mind player! I definitely have not fought this one. He's a literal mind player. Why do you, why do you have a gun to that thing? Uh -oh. Why are they moving? Nani! I was too busy being mind flooded by the moving minds and I failed. Whatever, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was two, two runs in one. You're welcome. You only get the best here with me. Two runs of Enter the Gudgeon brought to you by Ed Troll. Probably not our best run, but a run that's definitely up there in our higher echelons. Mainly because we got two flawlesses. And yeah, I'd say that's pretty good for, for uh, my skill set. If you guys have any comments you'd like to add to me, like if you like, like, comment, subscribe, hit me up with all that nonsense. Comment on what you thought on how I could improve. Dodge better, forehead. Yeah, no thanks. Fuck you. No, but appreciate it. Any type of feedback would be great. Um... Uh, this was Enter the Gungeon, amazing game by Devolver Digital, Revolver Digital. And I was trying to think, I was like, is that the right name? Doesn't matter. Check it out. Google that shit. You'll find it. I guarantee an amazing game. If it's under $30, get it. Fuck, get it even if it is $30. I will catch you guys and girls next time. This is Ed Roll playing Enter the Gungeon. Bye-bye. <laughs>